Lima, Lima, Charlie. Kilo 2, Lima, Lima, Charlie. Kilo 2, Lima, Lima, Charlie. Roger, Roger. What's the name there? Kilo 2, Lima, Lima, Charlie. Roger, Roger. What's the name there? Uh, good afternoon, Jim. The name is Linwood. The name is Linwood, um, and I'm in Central Virginia. Linwood in Central Virginia, Jim. Go ahead. Roger, Roger, Linwood, and what radio are you running today, sir? Roger, Roger, Linwood, and what radio are you running today, sir? ICOM 7410, an ICOM 7410 using a Shure MV7, a Shure MV7 microphone, Jim, go ahead. Roger, Linwood, well, let's see if you would like. We'll start our, our general setup procedure. It involves uh, getting your compressor in line at a three. Uh, get the compressor turned on and at a three, Roger. Turned on and at a three, Roger. So Roger, Jim, the compressor is on and it is at a three. Go ahead. Roger, Roger. Now move to your ALC meter with the uh, mic gain in hand. And as you speak rather rapidly, 100, 200, 300, adjust your ALC for mid scale to two thirds by way of uh, your mic gain manipulation, Roger. Scale to two thirds. By way of uh, your mic gain manipulation, sir. Middle portion of the ALC. Middle portion of ALC. Mic gain is now at uh, what, that you're, what you were talking about. Two uh, LLC. Roger, Roger, Linwood. Now we want to be just a little bit more than uh, mid scale. Mid scale to two thirds. Uh, Roger, Roger. Just a little bit more than uh, mid scale. Mid scale to two thirds. Uh, Roger, Roger. Roger, Jim. I am back uh, just a little bit past the two thirds scale there. Go ahead. Okay, sounds good. Now, uh, do you know where your equalization uh, is? Okay, sounds good. Now, uh, do you know where your equalization uh, is? Yes, sir, I do. Okay, let's go to the equalization page, and I'm, <laughs> I'm noticing that uh, uh, this uh, Milford uh, PA is uh, glitching a little bit, so if you don't understand exactly what I'm saying, uh, just uh, ask me to repeat, Roger. understand exactly what I'm saying, uh, just uh, ask me to repeat, Roger. I have somebody very distorted. Uh, I'm not sure if it's an uh, adjacent channel or what. Uh, and what do you uh, still have a copy? Uh, adjacent channel or what? Uh, and what do you uh, still have a copy? Roger, it must be uh, somebody um, operating 1KC over or something. I don't know. I mean, we've been transmitting here on this frequency for the last... 25 minutes for somebody to plop in 1kc off uh, doesn't make good sense but then again you know sometimes uh, folks are like that uh, anyway uh, Linwood uh, have you found your EQ page Roger anyway uh, Linwood uh, have you found your EQ page Roger 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 I have found it go ahead Jim all right what I want to do is crank in two clicks more EQ top end uh, from where you are uh, Travel EQ boost two uh, clicks from where you are, Roger. Travel EQ boost two uh, clicks from where you are, Roger. Roger, Jim. The treble is now boosted uh, to maximum that I can go. It was at three clicks and four as far as I can go, but it's now at four clicks. Go ahead. Okay, Lynn, what, uh, what I want you to do now is give me about uh, 10 or 15 seconds and uh, describe your antenna uh, system, Roger. Seconds and uh, describe your antenna uh, system, Roger. Roger, Jim, this is my antenna for 80 meters. It is uh, connected directly to my ICOM 7410, and I'm using the internal tuner on the 7410 to um, to uh, to LLC. Yeah, go ahead. 
Roger, Roger Linwood. Well, I'm I'm starting a new advice uh, <laughs> situation now. I've gone through my four uh, internet SDR receivers plus my local receiver. I'm only copying you on Milford at about uh, four uh, dB above their noise level. So what I'm I'm going to suggest to you is that uh, perhaps uh, you might want to look at a different antenna. I think that you should have a stronger uh, radiation uh, uh, signal than, than where you are uh, with what you've got there. And so what I'm going to recommend is that you uh, think about putting up a half wave tuned dipole antenna as opposed to a long wire where you have to run through the um, antenna tuner. With a tuned half-wave uh, dipole antenna, uh, you can bring that SWR right down to nothing, and you don't have to run through the antenna tuner uh, to uh, find resonance, because the antenna is tuned for resonance uh, already, and uh, makes for a very, very efficient uh, radiating uh, antenna. And I will guarantee you that you will be uh, uh, at least uh, seven or eight in uh, in, uh, in many of the uh, locations that you're currently not uh, not coming up on, Roger. Yeah, locations that you're currently not uh, not coming up on, Roger. Uh, Roger, Jim. I changed antennas to an 80 meter Wyndham antenna, and I don't know if that uh, 80 meter Wyndham. Two antennas, so this is the 80 meter Wyndham antenna that's uh, a little bit higher and maybe radiate a little bit better. Jim, go ahead. Yes, sir. You did pick up about uh, 3 dB over where you were on uh, Milford, uh, but you're still uh, quite low in the other uh, areas. You know, and uh, I have uh, picked those areas because it, they form a grid that uh, you know tries to uh, look at uh, different uh, geographical locations uh, and assist uh, lower-powered uh, 100 watt stations. So I'm assuming that you are running uh, at least 100 watts. Is that a Roger? Roger. Well, I'm just uh, suggesting that you might uh, think about uh, a, a, a tuned uh, half-wave uh, uh, dipole antenna, uh, th plus the fact that depending on how you string that that uh, dipole, it is directional in that it uh, radiates uh, broadside to the uh, uh, the string as you uh, set it out. You know, if it runs north and south, it'll radiate east and west. So uh, you can determine uh, what area that you want to uh, primarily uh, send your signal and, uh, you know, be able to uh, uh, to uh, achieve that by uh, the way you lay out the uh, antenna, the dipole, if you have the, the room to do that. So I just want you to consider perhaps, uh, you know, a tuned uh, antenna where you don't have to use the, um, you know, the antenna tuner, Roger. Don't have to use the, um, you know, the antenna tuner, Roger. Any longer. I'm sorry I'm a little weak to you today, but thanks for all you do for helping all of us. And I look forward to reporting in again to you another day. 73 in blue skies, Jim. This is K2LLC. Clear. Roger, Roger. Well, the signal did, did come up on Milford, and that was at least a 10 over, so we do have uh, a pretty good copy. What I want to do is get a little bit more recording from you now that we have a decent signal. If you'd like to give me 10 or 15 seconds about the, what you like best about your radio, go ahead. 10 or 15 seconds about the, what you like best about your radio, go ahead. on this radio for some friends on the morning net who are either in uh, nursing homes or unable to have uh, an antenna up these days. So uh, very pleased with all the, uh, very pleased with all the things that this can do, Jim. Go ahead. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, uh, uh, Linwood, you know, there's something about uh, the, uh, Mother Nature. Uh, I, the, the Milford, the, the uh, SDR that I was using, just... Uh, 
kicked me off <laughs> right at the moment where you were coming back. So I, I didn't get the back end of that after I got uh, the Milford SDR back online. Uh, but uh, give me uh, give me 15 seconds of something I don't know. I, I would like to get a good recording of you, Roger. I'd like to get a good recording of you, Roger. Virginia, and I work for a Methodist church where I'm uh, the music guy, and as of the COVID thing, also the IT guy who's been doing nothing but recording video and audio and posting it like a wild crazy man, Jim. Go ahead. Roger, Roger. Well, if, if it's not one thing, it's something else. Mother Nature just changed her propagation. <laughs> I had to go down to my uh, Georgia SDR. Uh, you were doing quite well down there, Roger. <laughs> Yes, Sheldon. Would uh, thanks for check, checking in, sir. You have a great uh, afternoon, beautiful weekend. This is a KC9 VKV, the QSV Log Net. Uh, my name is Jim, and uh, if you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout.